Good morning, everybody. It's your man with the plan, Shane Man 20, and uh, I'd like to explain something a little bit. I lied to you guys. I told you that I was going to have videos for you by the beginning of this week, and obviously that didn't work out, did it? Let me explain to you why. to you guys is actually because I made an executive decision on Sunday I had remembered that I have an extended warranty on this truck and so I pulled out some papers and, and a pamphlet to try and read through it and see if there were some things in it that uh, I needed to check and make sure were covered under it now you're probably asking yourself okay what did you do wrong to your truck Shane well it wasn't anything that I did wrong um, actually, it's just the fact that uh, two of my factory speakers decided they were going to part ways with me. And, um, you know, I had planned on replacing them, but at the same time, I thought, you know what? Hang on a second. Let's, let's see if that's even con covered under my warranty because I may just be able to get that taken care of and, you know, have no issues there whatsoever. <clears throat> And the big kicker about these is that it, it, I don't think I blew the speakers. I mean, I know what a blown speaker sounds like, but these kind of, after a while, they just, there was no sound. And now there's actually no sound off an entire bank of speakers. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the front dash speaker and the front door speaker on, on all these trucks is all on one channel on one bank for the non Bose systems that is and um, I for some reason neither one of them makes a sound uh, so I'm not really sure why that is I mean I don't play my music very loud uh, usually about half volume at the most anymore and um, you know the, the vehicle that I had prior to that uh, I eventually ended up blowing a speaker in it and believe it or not it was a door speaker and that thing lasted forever it never stopped at all and I, and I played music forever on a blown speaker until I finally got replacements for Christmas so I find this a bit odd that the speaker would just give up so and especially on, on an entire bank of speakers so uh, I, you know what I'm I'm finding that kind of fishy and so we're gonna go to the dealership today and see what they can come up with um, as far as I know we're going in and we're gonna let them run some diagnostics and see what they can come up with so on our way to the dealership we go I used to walk these roads with you can't remember the last time I went without you So um, I'm going to go and get us checked in and then I'll explain further in detail pretty much what's going on. You guys already know, but I think I explained it poorly. All right. So, well, you can tell Black Beauty's in the background. So uh, I handed them the keys. They're going to have their fun and try and find out what's going on. So basically what's going on with my truck is, like I said, um, a, an entire bank of speakers has gone out. Uh, it was the right front dash speaker and it was the right front door speaker uh, the door speaker went out first and then uh, sometime after that I thought it had fixed itself because I started hearing sound from it again and then the dash speaker on my way to work about a couple weeks ago started doing the same thing so I'm not really sure what's going on you know it's not like they just suddenly went out it had like a distortion like I'd blown the speakers so I naturally thought okay maybe I just blown the speakers and you know no big deal uh, I'll just get factory replacements and uh, go from there save myself a little bit of money but I went through and started looking through some of my 
uh, extended warranty stuff because I do have an extended warranty with my truck that I bought from the dealership and I went back through it and, and was checking some things and I saw that it might be covered under it so uh, we came to the dealership we talked to them got some things worked out found out everything was covered so we're gonna let the dealership take care of everything let them figure out hey it, did I blow the speakers or is there something more to what's going on because I find it kind of odd that a speaker would just stop working like that and I've had blown speakers before in cars and blown speakers will tend to just get worse and worse and worse and worse until there's it's rattling itself to death and and none of that really happened not that I could really tell so um, we're letting Hubler Chevrolet today here in Rushville Indiana take care of all the stuff for the truck so um, while we're at it I figured we'd do some window shopping like I pretty much always do when I come to any dealership so uh, since I've got some time let's do it this is a really nice black Z71 and I love these 22s these are gorgeous I actually like these tires too uh, I was just gonna say those are duelers too those aren't bad and I would really consider something like this for my truck there's even a blue one back here that has the same wheels that's really nice goodness and this is actually the configuration that I wanted I'm more than sure this is a crew cab with the six and a half foot bed notice I have my Mountain Dew because it's early in the morning and I haven't had my caffeine yet <laughs> but yeah this is actually the exact configuration I really wanted but I just could not afford it at the time so uh, I got the next best thing and got a double cab and and lived with that choice this one's actually really nice. This is an LTZ. I kind of like these newer grills. They don't look near as bad as the previous uh, grills did. Even though, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the redesigned front end as long as it looks like these. I like this and the color matched uh, part of it. It looks so much better in my opinion. Uh, it matches the truck so much better. It kind of gives it like a... Uh, Kind of gives it like a stormtrooper-like appearance, sort of. Not quite, but sort of. Walking down through here, here's another Z. With the wheels that I actually wanted for my truck at one time. And, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want those wheels now or if I, if I want a different set of wheels. And, uh, you know, I, would, I wouldn't mind having them, but... At the same time, there are other wheels that I would like to get for this truck, and they're uh, sort of like a machined or a polished look, and they look really good. So I'm thinking about getting a set of those wheels eventually, but right now, time and money just does not allow it. Here's a three-quarter ton gasser. I say gasser, but it really is. Now, the one thing that really didn't make any sense to me is I, GM really didn't try to do much in replacing the motors for these. I, all they really did was just put the Vortec uh, 6 liter in it and ran with it. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with what you got, but I think for something that's that big, and I mean, granted, they sell, I think they sell a lot more diesels than they actually do gasser trucks, but it's just kind of weird. Kind of weird to think about, but you know, I said there's still a market, there's still a world out there that needs three quarter ton gas trucks, so who am I to judge? Here's some more trucks here hey wait a minute these aren't quite the wheels but they're very similar um, they're kind of the, except they're this polished look and um, well these are these are actually chrome so you guys already know that but these are actually similar to the wheels that I want for the truck except I, I don't really want chrome I think I think chrome would be a little bit too much and I'm thinking you know if I got chrome wheels on top of what I got already, I think that'd be a lot of chrome. So um, I like a little bit of contrast to whatever I got, and I figure the black with whatever existing chrome I have on top of maybe some polished things, which is why I thought about maybe instead of going with, like, for example, most of the trucks would come uh, for the 2014 and 2015, they would have um, they would have chrome mirrors and then chrome door handles and then the body pan or the body side moldings would be chrome as well i thought about getting those for my truck and then i was like nah 
I don't want to. I just, I think that would be too much chrome. As much as I really like the look of the LTZs, I don't think that's really the look I want to go for. So I think I'm gonna do those in like machine to look at some point. But right now it's another one of those things where it's just a thought, so. This truck is actually really cool. It's this uh, special ops edition and they have these graphics on it along with a roll bar in the back, 20s. This is a super nice truck. Oh, and I didn't even realize the front bumper was wrapped too. Dang. That's nice. Here's another three quarter ton gasser and then right behind it is a Duramax. And this one's actually a 2017 Duramax. Look how close they can get these. That's that's a lot of, whew, I don't know if I could do that. I don't think you could pay me enough to do that. That's getting close. I mean, I guess if you train yourself enough, you could probably do it. But here's a three quarter ton Duramax with the Z71 off-road package. I think I would like this truck more so than anything else. Now granted, it doesn't have a big enough bed for me. I'd still like the bigger bed, but uh, you know, I could live with it. Oh yeah, there they are. Look at them gorgeous things. This is actually like a really gorgeous car. This is honestly a gorgeous car. I love this color. And the other color that really has me, and I don't know if they have it, it doesn't look like they have it anymore. They did at one point, but I think they've sold it already. But this is a beautiful, blue metallic Camaro SS and if I'm not mistaken it is indeed a stick sold on this one <laughs> there's also a black one that's right next to us right here that's also very gorgeous I love the black ones I just like Camaros in general so I I just don't know if I could justify that much of a cost yet right now. I would love to get one of these. I actually would like to get a 1LE, but again, can I justify that cost? <laughs> oh goodness, what else is there? Oh! I forgot you were here. This is one of two Chevy SS's that they have on the lot. And I didn't know about these until last week. And I about crapped myself when I saw one. These are awesome cars. I remember when I first saw these and thought, these look like a Malibu, just a little bit bigger, and with a V8. What could possibly go wrong? Now, the sad truth is that both cars on the lot are automatics, but you know what? I might actually drive this car. This would actually be like the greatest daily ever. Granted, I wouldn't get hardly any gas mileage because I couldn't keep my foot out of it, but I think it would be definitely worth it. And I think the first thing I would probably do is upgrade to X pipes and a three inch exhaust all the way back and then probably do like a cold air intake. And that, that would probably be enough for me for the time being. And then maybe eventually do like headers or something. But this is actually a super nice car. And I believe this one's like fully loaded, has a sunroof. This is, if, if you want like a really nice performance car that your wife or your girlfriend or your fiance, whoever, will actually, you know, let you justify having this, this right here, because it's a, listen here, ladies, if you're watching this, four doors, it's a mid-sized car and it'll shut your man up because it has a V8 underneath the hood. Trust me, let him get it. Now, in case you guys aren't aware, because I know there's a crowd out there that's still not aware of this, but these cars are actually holding Commodores. And believe it or not, I think you can actually opt for a package that will allow you to get this car with all the holding badging around it. I can't remember how much that option is. I heard it, I heard the rumor and I heard it was like a lot of money. But if you want Holden badging on this car, you can get it. And considering uh, I think they're gonna do one more model, and my understanding is that last model will have the new LT1, and I think that's about it. I said I think that's one of the bigger revisions of the car, 
is that they're going to do one with an LT1 in it and that'll wrap up holding production because uh, if you guys did not know, uh, GM announced that Holden was going to be closing their doors in, in Elizabeth, Australia. So it's kind of, it's really honestly sad to see, but the reasoning for closing the plant was because it was cheaper to actually import cars than it was to actually build them, which is kind of odd. So it is what it is and it's really sad. I think we're gonna miss this car. You know, it's a very practical car. It's a sedan, it can fit a lot of people in it. It has a V8, so you can have a lot of fun with it. You can get it in a stick. And, you know, it, it's it's just a really neat car. And it's actually like a really cool sleeper. Like, I don't think most people would know what this car was when it pulled up to them. I said, most people probably don't know what it is now. They probably would think, oh, it's just a, a Malibu or something. No, 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 no. So, I think we're really going to miss these cars when they leave. But for the few that own them and have them, I think they're going to cherish them a lot more. Here's a newer Tahoe. You know, if, if you had to get one of these, I'd love to get the one with the 6.2 in it. I don't know if this one has it. I doubt it, but I don't know where the sticker is. Ah, there it is. Now this one has the 5.3, which is probably plenty of power, but still, I would love to get one of those. Here's this Colorado. It's the Z71. has the V6 in it. This is actually a super nice truck. And granted, it's a little bit small for me, but I mean, if I just wanted something to zip around in and have fun, I mean, this thing's set up. It has really nice side steps. These are some like really aggressive tires. Like I feel like those are actually pretty decent daily tires. They look pretty good. They're they're not too knobby. Like I feel like they would be pretty quiet on the street. But then, you know, uh, whenever you want to go out and do things, that's not bad. So I, I kind of wouldn't mind driving this truck. As, you know, this would be another great replacement for my daily. And then there's another 2017, and I think this one is marked off 17 percent and there's another white one i kind of like that little striping that goes down there i like that that looks nice oh let's see is there anything else we can see up here and there it is this is actually like a really nice blue it's almost like got a uh sort of like a tint of purplish in it it's almost like an indigo color but it's really nice and it's really pretty. Like, I kind of wish I had this car just because of how useful it can be and because it has V8. That's the most important thing. But I still, if I was gonna buy one of these, I'd want a stick. I really would. I want the manual transmission because I would have a ball with it. And again, I think this one's also fully loaded with sunroof, has all kinds of other things with it. Um, I think these still have the LS3 in them. Like I said, I think they're going to do one more run. And that run will have the LT1 in it. And that will wrap up um, SS production, Holden production in Australia. Tell me that doesn't sound, sound look mean. Really nice. One ton. Duramax. I really would rather have a dually, but I can still live with either one of these. Super nice truck. White, LTZ, nice chrome wheels, the world's biggest exhaust tip. <laughs> and there's actually another one that's just like it that's sitting in here. Black. It's gorgeous. Well, I think that wraps up everything that I can possibly find on this dealership lot. Um, that that's pretty much everything that they have it is a small town dealership and it's actually a really nice dealership for what we got so I really can't complain for something hometown like that it, it's very nice we have what we have I was actually really surprised that they had two Chevy SS's here when I found out that they had those um, last week I stopped in and, and just had to you know go and take a look at them because I was like holy crap I've never seen any of these in person and they're they're actually really nice cars so, 
I should have one of those as a practical daily deal. But anyways, um, I think that's going to wrap that up. And then whenever we get the truck back, I'll uh, let you guys know what I find out. And then we will go from there. All right, guys. So we just got out of the dealership. And uh, it turns out that my speakers in this truck are completely fine. Uh, it's actually the radio that's having issues. They said it was a bad radio, so what they are going to do, because it's covered under my extended warranty, uh, it will take them about a day to get the new radio ordered and brought in, and then they will call me and they will reschedule a uh, another day for us to get the radio installed. So um, I'm excited that that's the, really the only thing that's wrong with it. You know, we don't have to replace the speakers because I, I figured the speakers were fine I just find it odd that you know they would just completely go out and and in my electronics knowledge and especially with dealing with some sound systems generally speakers don't just go out unless they're I mean I've known speakers to have holes and rips and tears in them and still work just fine so generally that means there's a loss in connection somewhere if a um, sound system like that does that so I'm glad to know that everything is going to be taken care of and that this uh, problem will hopefully not happen again so I think that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video and I'm gonna go on ahead and head home and get some things taken care of so uh, if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up I really do appreciate it if this is your first time stopping into the channel, please subscribe. It really means the world to me, guys. It honestly does. Also, do not forget about that notification bell next to the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that so that you are always notified of when I post new videos. Because nobody likes being left out in the dark. I hate being left out in the dark. It sucks. <laughs> but with all that said, guys, hopefully you have a fantastic day. Take care and have a wonderful day.